Hi, I'm Susie, and I'm here to talk to you about the top 10 things pet parents can do to help their dogs who are battling cancer feel more comfortable. But before we jump into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any important announcements, updates, or helpful videos like this one you're about to watch. And be sure to hit the like button. It lets us know you think our content is helpful and that you want us to keep making videos. First up, give your dog something soft that smells like you. It can be a shirt, a blanket, or anything that's got your scent on it. This is because dogs have a strong sense of smell. It's much stronger than ours. And the smell they love the most in the world is, of course, the smell of you, their parent. It makes sense then why they're always laying on the couch, your side of the bed, or a pile of dirty clothes. So something soft and smelling like you is one of the best things you can do for your dog while they're recovering or going through treatment like chemotherapy. Number two, be happy. Studies show that our dogs get stressed when we're stressed. They can tell when we're sad, when we're upset, and even when we're happy. They actually use their sense of smell to read our body language. And when your dog notices that your mood is different, they'll adjust too. If you're sad, they'll show you empathy, but if you're happy, they'll wag their tail. Dogs mirror our behaviors and our moods. So when they're having a tough day and feeling down in the dumps, be happy. When you're happy, they're happy. Focus on your dog and the time you have together and ignore the cancer diagnosis and the toll it's taking on your dog for now. Because when you stay positive, you improve your dog's quality of life and well-being too. Next on the list is petting your pup. Did you know that dogs who are in pain or recovering from treatments like chemo need a lot of extra love? That's right. When your dog is having a tough day, you can comfort them by giving them tons and tons of pets. And actually, a veterinarian journal published a study about where dogs like to be pet the most. And their data showed that by petting your dog on the chest, you can actually help them decrease their heart rate and calm them down faster. Pretty neat, huh? And do you know what else is great at reducing stress? Number four on this list, giving your dog lots of attention. Dogs crave your attention, your affection, and your love. You're their parent. And that's why when you make eye contact with your dog, they feel the same way as babies do when their mommies look at them. It releases oxytocin, also known as the love hormone. And it's a powerful hormone known to reduce stress, reduce pain, and strengthen emotional bonds. So go ahead and take those extra moments before you leave for work in the morning. Make eye contact with your pup, love them, give them cuddles, because it helps them feel better, really. Next up on the list is number five, going for walks. Of course, every dog's cancer diagnosis is different. Some dogs are more tired than others, some lose their appetite, don't feel like playing, or for some dogs with bone cancer, jumping around and playing around just isn't a good idea. So focus on low stress activities with your fur baby. Instead of hitting the dog park, go for a nice walk outside together. Get some fresh air, let them stretch, and let them set the pace. Go as slow as they need to and make time for it every day. Trust me, they'll love it. And as a homeopath, I'm interested in knowing what other pet parents just like you are doing to help care for their animals in need. So tell me one thing you do for your dog when they're feeling under the weather. Please share it in the comments so other pet parents can check it out too. Up next, improve your dog's access. Pets battling cancer often suffer from pain and limited mobility. This means they might have trouble going up and down stairs or even hopping in bed at night to cuddle. And if your home has lots of slippery surfaces like tile or hardwood, they might be struggling to gain traction. So to make things a little more comfortable for your furry friend, invest in things like pet ramps that lead up to your bed or ripped carpet squares to cover floors. And if you're on a budget, something as simple as a towel on the slipper kitchen tile can mean the world to your pet. The next thing you can do to help your pup who's battling cancer is using dog diapers. They cut down on messes and improve the quality of life of your dog and the rest of your family. Plus, it'll help preserve your dog's dignity and prevent them from feeling shame after an accident. Make sure to change your dog's diapers regularly. Otherwise, they could end up with rashes, irritation, and urine scalding. And if you've got a boy dog, try using belly bands to prevent marking in the house. This brings us to number eight, harnesses. As we know, some dogs with cancer have issues getting around and it's just not as easy as it used to be. If your dog has trouble moving their hind legs, try using a harness to lift them up as they go up and down the stairs, or for example, on your nightly walks around the block. A harness will help your pup feel more secure as they move around and they're pretty easy to use. 
Most harnesses wrap around the rear of your dog, around the hips, or the abdomen. And as they walk, you help lift their legs and provide support. These harnesses are especially helpful for dogs who can't use neck collars anymore because of a neck or brain tumor. And if you use a harness to help your pup around town, make sure you can slide at least one or two fingers between their body and the harness itself. You don't want it to fit too snug. Some dogs with cancer can't walk anymore because it's either too painful, tumors get in the way, or they just don't have that energy anymore. So if your dog needs an extra boost with mobility, try our ninth tip and invest in a quality doggy wheelchair. This way your dog can still go on walks but skip all the pain and discomfort. Just because they can't engage physically as easily as they used to doesn't mean they don't still crave mental stimulation. And if a wheelchair is best for your fur baby, talk with a rehab vet or physical therapist first. You'll need to get your dog properly fitted for their wheelchair to avoid injuries, tenderness, or stiffness. This brings us to number 10, natural products. It's the last thing on our list today, but it's an important one because there are tons of natural products out there that can help support your dog, like the Piptoporus mushroom, for example. Piptoporus is an all natural ingredient rich with properties that can help strengthen your dog's immune system. Natural products like this can promote long-term quality of life without any harmful chemicals. And when your dog has a stronger immune system while they fight cancer, they're more likely to have a better outcome. In fact, Homeo Animal offers PiptoPet that's made with the high quality Piptoporous ingredient. It's a gentle and holistic approach to health that can support your dog throughout their cancer and recovery journey. You can learn more about PiptoPet and read reviews from real dog parents just like you by clicking this link. All right, that wraps up our list of the top 10 things pet parents can do for their dogs who are battling cancer. And one last thing, if you want to keep learning and help your pet even more, download our free guide called Six Natural Ways to Help Your Dog During Cancer. If you're sad or confused about your dog's cancer like most pet parents are, this guide is filled with expert advice that'll bring you peace of mind so you can enjoy quality time with your furry friend for a long time. So simply download it below. We hope you learned a lot and don't forget to tell us what you do for your dog in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video to keep watching helpful content like this. And until next time, be well.